Hi, this is Katie Barrett with the Wall Street Journal. Here in Washington, D.C., our town is recovering from the inauguration. But let's say you opened up your computer yesterday and you wanted to use it to get around town to look at maps or check where your ticket section was. It might have taken you a really long time to boot up your computer. There are some products out there now that can help you open your computer and instantly get onto email or a browser or a few other things so you don't have to wait. This week, I took a look at a product from Phoenix Technologies called Hyperspace. Hyperspace installs on certain computers and once installed, can start up certain programs without having to start up your entire Windows operating system, so it saves you some time. Some downsides to this are that it doesn't access the things that your Windows operating system accesses, such as Word or PowerPoint or Microsoft Outlook. Instead, it uses web-based programs, so things that you can open up with your browser, like Google's Gmail or uh, Flickr or anything else that you can use or open up using the internet. Uh, some advantages to using a program like Hyperspace include the fact that it saves battery power. So instead of running Windows in the background, it stops Windows and puts it to sleep and then uses Hyperspace separately. Hyperspace comes in two products. One is called Hyperspace Dual and the other is called Hyperspace Hybrid. Hyperspace Dual operates by uh, running Windows and Hyperspace but doesn't run them side by side. Hyperspace Hybrid runs them side by side so you can toggle between the two. When you download files from the web in hyperspace, they save to a folder called My Documents. But it's a little confusing because this has nothing to do with the My Documents folder on the Windows side of your computer. However, if you would like to download files such as a Google Docs, uh, uh, something or other you created on the web, you wanna, or you receive a Word document from somebody in an email that you opened up using a web-based email program, you can save that to Windows. There's an option to save that to Windows. There's also an option to print to Windows. So from that hyperspace environment you can send something to Windows and then you can switch over to Windows and open that up. Some of the downsides to hyperspace are that it doesn't let you synchronize information between the Windows side and the hyperspace side. So for example if you're using your browser in hyperspace and you want to find all those bookmarks that you use in your browser on the Windows side they won't synchronize. Um, another downside is that it doesn't have a music player or a, a DVD player or uh, some other features like chat or Skype. Um, you'd have to go back to the Windows side and open up those programs and, and use them there. So uh, hyperspace is a good solution for some people, but it only works on certain computers. It's a little confusing for some people to install and it might be a little intimidating. You have to go into the BIOS of your computer and make some adjustments. So that alone could be really intimidating. So if you're really suffering from slow boot up times and you'd rather have something that works like the flick of a switch, Hyperspace Hybrid or Hyperspace Dual might be a good solution for you. But it can be a little bit intimidating. This is Katie Barrett with the Wall Street Journal.